Yo, what is up? This is the Salamander, and today I will be reviewing the latest Nigel Shepherdson movie called Rotten Ninja, and I believe it's the sixth movie. Yeah, it probably is. But I gotta say, I I actually really enjoyed this movie from the beginning to the end. Every single minute, I really enjoyed. Um, I've only got minor complaints about it, but most of it is it's enjoyable. I loved it. It was actually quite a classic movie. Where well, the plot was about um, Madra testing this 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 Yomi. Don't really know how to pronounce it, so forgive me about that. But he basically tests it and creates a new world, but he's not under his control. He, he, like, he, he managed to create everything, but it's completely the opposite. So Naruto and Sakura are pulled into this new dimension, which is not controlled by Madara. How? Uh, because it is just a test, which kind of fails, apparently. But we guess, we basically get to see every character from. Kakashi, Guy, Lee, Sasuke, and Hinata all have opposite personalities. It's quite funny seeing this because we see from Hinata being such a shy little girl for, to being such a. <laughs> but basically, kind of like Sakura, where she's basically kind of assert, um, aggressive. Right. It's quite funny. <laughs> uh, but I, I really enjoyed this episode. The one thing I didn't like was when we saw Sasuke. Now, there was a brief moment where um, Naruto and Sakura were quite shocked, but they didn't really like. I, I felt that like they should have went went more in with the story, and I, 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 I just I just felt that there wasn't enough between Naruto and Sasuke, because they had such a long feud in the real world, and to just be shocked for a couple of seconds in the new world, I don't know. This it didn't really seem seem to make much sense. Because, I don't know, it was, just, it was a bit disappointing. I, I thought it would have been much more, like, yeah, like much more depth into into that little scene. But, oh, uh, it, but besides that, um, the, only, uh, the only other two complaints I have is the character enemy was quite predictable. Um, you would think that it was probably Madara, another masked man, but it, apparently it was actually Naruto. Which it kind of makes sense because Naruto is actually quite a good guy in the real world, and it would kind of make sense to be a bad guy in, in this world. But one thing that didn't make sense is how did he become a bad guy? They didn't really explain it that much, because we see um, Naruto have black hair now, but he's become the totally o total opposite hero. So he's now one of the like, greatest villains of all time. So they never really went out in depth because. In this episode, we have the fourth Hokage and Kushiya. Ah, never could pronounce that name, but the wife basically come back to life in this one, where they actually have a family. But somehow, that narrow, the opposite narrative, which is called Mema, turned into like a bad guy, which they never really explained. Which I'd, I was quite disappointed. I thought they would like explain how he turned into a bad guy. Was it under Madara's control? Yeah, I think it was uh, probably under Madara's control. That's I think that's the only explanation to test what would happen. But aside from that, everything was was good. The animation was 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 uh, wonderful, especially in one, especially in the fighting scenes between Naruto and Naruto. Um, well, so um, the story, I loved the comedy moments with all the characters who changed from Kiba to to hate to hating dogs to Hinata being aggressive to Lee being a pervert. <laughs> I love I love everything about this movie. It's 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 really enjoyable. We see all these emotional moments with Naruto meeting his dad and mum, and they Naruto and Sakura knows this world is fake, but it was so hard for Naruto to just ignore the fact that his mum and dad was alive. He got to experience what a normal family would be like. He got to he he got to experience being scolded. He got to experience having a warm meal. He got he he experienced love. Wow, Sakura on the other hand, her mum and dad had their role switched completely with the Fofukage and Kushiya, or whatever her name is. Where instead of Fofukage becoming the um, hero, it's Sakura's dad who becomes the Fofukage and becomes the hero. Where he dies instead, and it's Sakura that becomes lonely. And Sakura now understands more detail how Naruto actually feels, how lonely he feels from, um, from being. Such from being cared for to being to understanding how lonely it feels to not have a parent. But once Naruto learns, once Naruto actually exits this world, he understands like what it means to be a ninja. He like 
he like he realizes that what's in this fake world is not it, everything's not real. He realizes that um this is this is not how the fourth Hokage would act because in this one the fourth Hokage is not as brave as in the original as the original fourth Hokage where the first one this I've, I've, I think this would be very confusing to you lot because even I was very confused <laughs> in the beginning everything was so confusing to me but you trust me you will understand it once you go along and you once you watch the movie you probably will understand what I'm talking about but the original fourth Hokage was a brave man who would risk his life for anything while the fake one would he, he more he cared about himself mainly like he he's still a good guy but he cared about his family more than the village so now to realize that this this is not my father um blah 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 but i gotta say this movie was really confusing but after when you watch it once with your mind more into the movie you understand more about the storyline blah 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 and I, I don't know, this movie was just amazing. I rate about 9.5 out of 10, it was almost flawless, I loved it. It was just minor complaints, but nothing to, nothing to, it won't really ruin the experience. It won't, it, it's nothing to, to be concerned about. Again, the movie was exciting, funny, and also enjoyable. I loved it. You should, I definitely recommend you watch this movie. And one more time. I loved it. Just the Salamander signing off. Barrage of Jutsu makes the enemy freeze!